It's big. It's scary. And has an appetite for destruction. Meet Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Could 2020 get any worse? How about if we woke a dormant giant reptile that shoots plasma beams of radiation from its mouth? What would happen if Godzilla woke up? Could a giant creature like it exist? And how would we deal with it? This is What If. And here's what would happen if Godzilla was real. Godzilla, or Gojira, as it's pronounced in Japan, has been a popular cultural figure for over half a century, appearing in comic books, television, video games, and cinema. With over 36 films made about this giant lizard, we seem to know a lot about him. Interestingly, each year, Godzilla seems to get bigger and bigger. Some of the stories suggest Godzilla has been in hibernation, like the Siberian salamander, which can stay frozen for four to five months in a process known as reptilian brumation. If global warming sets it free, what exactly would we be in for? Well, before we get into the grim details, let's first look at what we know about this massive beast. Based on the most current films, Godzilla is estimated to be about 110 meters tall and weighing in somewhere between 14,000 tons and 164,000 tons. Theoretically, the largest animal that can exist without being crushed by the Earth's gravitational field is 1,100 tons. Even if Godzilla's weight was on the conservative size of 14,000 tons, it would still be 14 times heavier than this theoretical limit. To withstand Earth's gravity, it must have some pretty strong bones. According to the square cube law, which states that as an object increases in size, its volume will grow faster than its surface area. Certain bodily functions, like the rate at which heat is lost, the rate of digestion, or the speed of oxygen reaching the brain, are dependent on mass and would not work the same way at Godzilla's scale. From a biological standpoint, in order to move around, the fastest brain signals can travel around 100 meters per second. So at 110 meters tall, it would take over a second to send a signal from Godzilla's brain to its feet. Talk about lag. It would also need a massive heart, weighing thousands of tons to pump enough blood throughout its body. And to power this giant organ, among others, Godzilla is going to need a lot of food. Hi, can I get the extra, extra, extra large combo, please? Oh, uh, it's not for me. It's for a friend. Based on Kleiber's law, which states that an animal's metabolic rate scales to 0.75 power of the animal's mass, Godzilla would need approximately 15 million calories per day. To put this in perspective, a blue whale will eat around 500,000 calories per mouthful. So what exactly would it be dining on? Well, luckily, Godzilla has a taste for radiation, just as flowers absorb electromagnetic radiation from the sun to survive. This helps to power his radioactive fire-shooting abilities. Yep, I am not making this up. So, what happens if Godzilla doesn't like us? If we're going by modern standards, an angry skyscraper-sized Godzilla 
would likely trigger tsunamis, earthquakes, and utter chaos. To add insult to injury, Godzilla's radioactive plasma jets would spread radiation poisoning to any living creature nearby for kilometers, making Chernobyl seem like a safe zone. If we tried to blow it up, well, we'd be facing a bomb 100 times the largest bomb ever exploded. Tsar Bomba. Because of all the nuclear energy Godzilla snacks on. So we'd either have to find a way to cooperate with it, or build giant robots for the ultimate showdown. As a short-term solution, Godzilla could be a tourist attraction for the most extreme travelers. That is, if it doesn't swat any incoming jets from the sky. A creature of its magnitude could harness a lot of energy, especially with so much nuclear power surging through it. Theoretically, Godzilla has the potential to supply 1,200 households with energy every day. That is, of course, if we could find a way to restrain it. Or maybe a giant hamster wheel could work? I'm just spitballing here. But in the long term, we'd have to deal with the massive costs to repair cities and to move people to safe areas. We could also be looking at a potential nuclear fallout that would leave several places simply uninhabitable for many generations. If we found a way to communicate with the beast, maybe it could be used for good, like battling invasive alien species, catching rogue missiles, or using Godzilla as a wake-up service for the heaviest sleepers. <sighs> Thanks, Godzilla. At the very least, its massive presence could help unite the world in a mission for survival and peace, which could stave off international conflicts. And maybe an army of murder hornets might help slow him down? Well, that's a story for another What If?